Today on Meet the Germans, we're not actually going to meet any Germans. Why not? Because we're going to meet some animals instead. There are so many creatures that have amazing names in German. Hippopotamus comes from the ancient Greek for river horse, though this guy doesn't have that much in common with a black stallion. But in German, they decided to do without the fancy Greek translation and use the plain old German word for river horse, Flusspferd. It's also called a Nilpferd or horse of the Nile, you know, the famous river in Africa. Even though it's called a horse, I wouldn't try putting a saddle on this hippo. Raccoons are native to North America, just like me. You know how they like to pick up their food very carefully with their hands before they eat it? And it kind of looks like they're trying to wash it first. Probably not a bad idea, since wild raccoons often like to rummage through trash cans, like this one. The German word for raccoon picks up on that idea. It's simply called a waschbär, or washing bear, even though it's not technically related to grizzlies or polar bears. Parrots are so beautiful and fun to look at, I think. When I see them, I immediately get the feeling that anything goes, like I'm on vacation. Their name in German is also very playful. It doesn't sound German at all. Papagei. It's not totally clear where the word comes from, but it may have been derived from Old Arabic or Old Indian languages. So if I say Papagei, do you think he'll repeat after me? Papagei? Papagei? Bats might seem a little bit spooky, but their names in German redeem them just a bit and make them seem harmless. A smaller bat is called a Fledermaus, which literally means fluttering mouse. But the larger version is known as a Flughund or a flying dog. I wouldn't try keeping this guy as a pet or taking him for a walk, though. Batman, by the way, simply goes by Batman in German. These little meerkats are really cute, aren't they? In German, they're actually called Erdmännchen, which literally means little earthmen. <laughs> That's because when they stand up on their two hind legs to check out the situation, they really look like little people. <laughs> Next time you go to the zoo, you might see the residents there just a bit differently. <laughs> Thanks for watching Meet the Germans. If you have a favorite German animal name, leave a comment and let me know. <laughs> see you next time on Meet the Germans. <laughs>